Jeremy Renner shares details about the snowplow accident that nearly killed him on a panel after the premiere of his new show. Renovations Jeremy Renner has been showing off his remarkable recovery from his New Year's Day snowplow accident in recent interviews and a red carpet appearance for his new show. Renovations While he's been putting on a brave face for the public, behind the scenes he's been in excruciating pain, according to Christopher Vincent. A chiropractic sports physician and trainer who is part of the team aiding Renner as he heals from his numerous injuries. I mean, it's bad enough with one of those traumas, Vincent said in an interview with People. The fracture through his tibia was so severe that that alone. Mentally you can't deal with that much pain. When you've got 30 of those, your body is just sending pain signals to your brain from every part of your body. You can't override them, Vincent continued. Jeremy Renner walks first red carpet with daughter's support after nearly dying in snowplow. Accident Jeremy Renner is healing remarkably well after nearly dying in a snowplow accident. Gilbert Flores, you're mentally just trying to quiet them down. It's happening 24 hours a day, so it's not like he gets a reprieve when he's sleeping. It doesn't sleep. So it's affecting your sleep, and that lack of sleep is affecting your recovery. The tibia fracture he mentioned was. One that doctors also discussed as part of Renner's interview with Diane Sawyer, the bone broke in multiple places and a titanium rod had to be inserted for it to heal properly. Besides that, he said he's broken 35 or so bones, and that one of his lungs collapsed after his chest was crushed by the seven-ton snowplow. His liver was punctured. But he said that wasn't dangerous, and his eye popped out of its socket, which has obviously been repaired. Jeremy. Renner suffered significant injuries due to his New Year's Day accident in Reno, Nevada. Jeremy Renner slash Instagram, the physician said that while he began his recovery, Renner focused on meditating and just trying to calm himself to override this. As he's in bed, we're moving his shoulders, moving his hips, moving his limbs, just trying to fire off some of those signals and keep the joints from freezing up. Keep him moving. Jeremy Renner's near-death experience, Leonardo DiCaprio, Orlando Bloom survived close calls the team has also suggested a non-inflammatory diet for him, as well as supplements that may help reduce pain signals getting to his brain. Vincent is the person responsible for getting the anti-gravity treadmill that Renner showed off on social media, and as time has gone on, he's brought in enough equipment to turn Renner's home into a full rehab center. Jeremy Renner uses unique treadmill to strengthen his legs. Jeremy Renner slash Twitter, he's an extremely unique and rare person, he said of the Marvel actor. I've worked with hundreds and thousands of athletes, celebrities, regular people, and it's really a special personality that has that drive and determination. Click here to sign up. For the entertainment newsletter he added that he's positive the star will get through it to where you are back. Stronger than you were before the accident. Jeremy Renner has been updating his fans on his recovery on social media. Jeremy Renner Instagram Jeremy Renner made his first red carpet appearance after his snowplow accident for the premiere of his show Renovations. His daughter Ava Berlin Renner was there to support her dad as he walked with a cane. Matt Winklemeyer slash GA slash The Hollywood Reporter via Getty Images, Renner's best friend and Renovations co-star Rory Milliken also gave a statement to people, saying, he's a very passionate person. His mood is great. It's strengthened by family and friends, who have been wonderful. Click here to get the Fox News app you hear this, it sounds cheesy, thanks for all the support from fans. But it actually had a huge impact on him. He was reading through them all, and he actually spent the time reading a lot of these things and it gave him a lot of strength. Emily Trainum is an entertainment. Editor for Fox News Digital.